Hey, what is up, guys? Master Gamer here. Um, I wanted to talk to you uh, guys about something today, but first things first, I want to know how was you guys this uh, Tuesday today? Mine was good. Um, I helped a friend move into our apartment today and stuff, so uh, I felt happy about helping her out since she, you know, she done so much stuff for me. But uh, that's a story for another game bit for another time, probably a Frank Adventures. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about something today. Um, I watched the game as Ethos' video. If you guys haven't seen it, check the uh, link up in the left-hand corner. Um, he talked about why he was done with, done with MW3. Well, you know what? I'm going to give my personal viewpoint about MW3. Um, I think that game has been getting way too much credit for as it is. Uh, you guys may disagree with me. Some may agree with me, but I'm just going to get my own personal viewpoint. I really feel like the community, the gaming community, has been saturated with that game particularly. I don't, it's just like you guys are fed up with you thinking that game is real, you take skill, but really, in my personal opinion, it doesn't. I can get my 10 year old cousin, if I can train his base, his reflexes that way up, and he knows his controls, he can sit up and murk through a whole entire map with a shotgun or with an assault rifle with a couple of attachments on it plus give him the right perks and everything, uh, he'd be a beast. But when I look at games like Battlefield 3, games like that, you don't really see on YouTube as much, like games like also like Gears of War 3, but that's another story. It's like we are focused on just showing, you know, nothing but what Modern Warfare 3 footage all the time. Like, we've been hardwired to show us, you know, doing 6 and 9 and stuff whatsoever. But if you sit up and take that mentality into block and not black out <laughs> into Battlefield 3, it's a whole different ball game. Battlefield 3 really shows the hard line of being an actual soldier. You can die a lot easier. It's not it's not so much of a long wolf game. It's a game where you actually actually have to squad up with people and complete your objective. You can't just sit up and go on the other side of the map and say, well, I'm about to do this by myself and call it duty. Like, if you can do domination, take on five guys and you can cap the flag. No, you do something in that, that in Battlefield 3, oh, you dead. You dead for sure. So when I sit up and, and people sit up and diss people about why they don't want to do with uh, MW3 anymore, because it's, it's been the same thing since MW3, MW2 in the first one. They never really changed the core mechanics. Only thing they did was dress it up, made it look nice, and you guys ran away with it to the point where you guys are so hardwired on you know, showing one to see MW3 push for the same thing over and over again, knowing the game is such bullshit. The way I look at it is, if we really want to break that cycle, we all need to change together. So we all need to, you know, just stand up and sit up and tell our favorite commentators, you know, show something else different. All the, instead of <clears throat> show something else different than you going four and nine, or forty nine and one in one match. I want to know see other other games that you know you can play. Like play like some um, like Battlefield Three. You know, if you can play Battlefield Three, it takes skill. It takes real skill because you actually have to build your classes up and build your weapons up whatsoever. Me, I really like Battlefield 3 more than MW3 uh, because, you know, it's more realism. Some things I can understand why I died for because you can make a mistake which will get you killed in this game. Uh, but with that, you know, guys, uh, I'm not trying to get on the uh, dudes that, you know, that does MW3 commentary because they do good. But I'm just saying for people that just keep asking and asking for it and, and it's the same thing again, you know, change it up. You know, so, uh, you no, know, yeah, get Battlefield 3 a try. It's a real good game. Uh, you, you seen Get Some 187 play with me a couple of times, and then you seen the game of Ethos. He's trying to get into it now. But, um, with that, that's why I try to be a different type of commentator. I always try to do the same thing, always. So, uh, you know, be different. Don't, don't, don't do the same thing that everybody else does. Don't watch the same thing because everybody else does. Because that's the whole reason why Machinima is all pretty much all fucked up. Because they show nothing but Modern Warfare shit and nothing else. They don't really show any other games any love because you guys as fans ask for the same shit. So, you know, uh, with that, get off of uh, MW3's dick. I'm not trying to, you know, sound mean or nothing, but that's like seriously what need to happen. But uh, I'm, I'm going to have to go. Uh, I'm going to work on this next video, and I'll catch you guys later. All right? Peace. And whoever sent... Oh, yeah, one more thing. Whoever sent Gaming Ethos that one video, 
and one not video comment you know what you, you, you're not a real gamer you, you're not a real gamer because that means you just on a fanboy shit that you know that you you think you got skill but you don't but i bet you you stepped in uh, battlefield 3 with him you would survive 10 seconds but with that guys um i'll see you guys later and be on the lookout for borderlands 2 peace